Take a look at bridging the digital divide. Since the beginning of the pandemic, schools have had the difficult challenge of figuring out how to provide their students with the proper tools for distance learning. One school district on the Monterey Peninsula is taking this need one step further. We get more tonight from Action News 8 reporter Kyla Linville. Redshift Internet Services and the Monterey Peninsula Unified School District have teamed up to bring internet to families across the Monterey Peninsula who need it the most. When the pandemic hit, we were all struggling. How are we going to get internet to our families? We knew we had a, uh, quite a bit of students who were in need. To combat this digital divide, the Monterey Peninsula Unified School District has been providing students with hotspots, park and learning Wi-Fi centers, and now they're working to bring Wi-Fi directly to students at home. Partnering with Redshift Internet Services, the district has installed small antenna towers across the peninsula that students can utilize for distance learning. That's the easiest way to think about it is it extends the school district's network out into the community so that the families or the, the students can actually pick up that signal. With, with the help of Redshift, they install a small device in their home that will pick up that um, signal from the school district where, whatever school's closest to them or the location that's closest, and then rebroadcast Wi-Fi into their homes. Those locations include Crumpton Elementary, Preston Park, Seaside Children's Center, Seaside High School, and the International School of Monterey. So far, Altemeyer says they've had at least 30 families utilize the free Wi-Fi being provided. But the need is growing, especially for students living in Seaside and Marina. Every child deserves the same opportunity, regardless of their socioeconomic status and where they come from. So it's important that we make sure the students who are underserved and who need it get the resources that they need. And we're, and we're doing everything in our power to make sure that happens. It's unclear when students will be back in the classroom, but until then, Altemeyer says even one student without internet is one too many. Altemeyer says they've already had multiple school districts across the state reach out to them with interest in this program, including Stockton, Santa Clara, and Pajaro Unified School Districts. Reporting in Monterey, I'm Kyla Linville, KSBW Action News 8. And if you would like more information on this program, you can visit our website, ksbw.com.